Good morning everybody. Welcome to my creative time with Emma and also welcome to another What a Treat Wednesday. For today I will be making a treat box using my uh, milk carton die. Okay and then I'm going to use uh, the smallest star which is this guy right here from the bunch of stitched stars. Um, then I'm not 100% sure just yet, but I believe I'm going to be using a sentiment from the You're My Hero set, okay? So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and cut this. I have to make this video super short because um, my son is graduating tomorrow, so we're trying to get him all settled in, get his clothes ready and all of that good stuff. So I'm going to show, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do really quick before I show you the actual paper. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, this is going to get cut out on some cardstock. And then I'm going to make two, maybe, yeah, just two little um, holes that you can see through, that you can see through the candy on the thing. And you'll know what I'm talking about in a second, okay? So I'll show that to you right now. Okie dokie. I went ahead and I cut this out already and I went ahead and scored all the lines so it'll be easy for me to put together. And this is what I was talking about to make the little holes. You see how it can, and I love that it did the stitching on the outer portions of them. Well, I thought I wanted to make it to see through, but I have actually um, broke down and got this little foil stuff that everybody's getting because it looks really neat. So, of course, I'm not using it the way it should be used right now. Um, I haven't had a chance to really study it to see how to use it, but I thought it would be cool. This color here is called, let's see, um, is that what it is? Silver? No, maybe this is, I don't think this is the one I use. No, that's not it. I use this color here. This one is called Rose Gold. Okay, I thought this would look pretty to look, you know what I'm saying, to do this for it to see through the window like so just to give it a little bit of shine there so I went ahead and I put the um this little adhesive on the inside already so this way we could just go ahead and just put it down you know what I'm saying so it could so this way you I mean of course I wanted to see through it but then I thought about it I was like you know I really wanted to use those those little foil papers and I cannot wait to actually use it the real way <laughs> I've seen it done so many times but I feel like now if I try to do it right now I have no idea because I can't remember but I'm gonna have to study it the instructions and learn how to do it it doesn't look too hard okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this down like so let me make sure there's enough room on the sides for it. There we go. It's really, really thin, by the way. Isn't that pretty? So it's nice and sparkly. So now what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and put some adhesive here. And then I'm using, this is my Express It adhesive. And this is the quarter inch one. So this one will be perfect for this side here to go ahead and put it together. Just like so. And this is easy because you could easily like tear it to take the part off there. And the way, the easiest way I found to do this was I just put that down like so. Hopefully you could see that in the camera. I just folded it completely down like that and then just folded this side completely half just like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my bone folder just to go ahead and just make sure that's down pretty good there. Isn't that cute? It is really, really thin, that paper, but because it's not, I think it'll be, I think it'll hold up okay, actually. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put another piece of that adhesive right there. Let me grab it. If I could find the end to it. Put that like so. And then I'm going to go ahead and just do this. Then I'm going to flip it over. And then just kind of, just to make sure it is in there pretty good so it won't come off. 
Okay, at this point we're going to go ahead and add our goodies in there, but I'm not going to do that just yet because I'm going to add something special in here. Okay, for tomorrow. So now that that's the way it's going to look. Um, let's see. And then I figure this will be cute. Now I use this one here. I wish it was actually a little bit more shinier, but I'll, it'll work for me. This is the Wow Metallic Platinum um, Super Fine. I love Super Fine. Anytime I could find Super Fine little embossing powder, I'm all out, I'm all over it because I love the Super Fine. Okay, so being that I can't close it because I have to put something special in here for for the graduate for tomorrow. Um, I'm just going to basically show you um, what the tag is going to look like. Now I'm thinking I don't like the tag anymore because it's kind of, actually I don't like it. So hold on one second. Okay, so I actually broke down and used, try to use the foil um, with my sentiment. And it didn't come out like super 100% like perfect, but um, to my understanding, it's okay because I watched a video from Jennifer McGuire and what she did was she used a different technique where you can use your stamp. She put some clear um, heat embossed, some clear and super fine embossing powder, and then you run it, you put your little gold piece um, like I showed you, I used this rose gold. I think it's called rose gold. Yeah. Um, so you're gonna you're gonna put that a little tiny piece right on top of your paper, run it through your machine, and this is what it comes out. And she said it's not gonna come out perfect, which I did it three times. I have to learn that machine. I actually um, end up getting that machine that was on HSN. Um, I don't know when it was earlier this month or this year. I can't remember. Where they have the National Crafting Day, National Crafting Day, I should say, um, and it was a really, really good deal. So I couldn't really pass that up there. Okay, so let me put this on here. Now I want to make this super simple because this is going to be for Anthony. Something that he could just take that off, so he wouldn't have to rip anything open. Um, just take that off and take out his little surprise. I was able to sneak it in there. Um, so anyways, this here, I use my stitched curly label die for the actual sentiment. Now, I didn't want to do too much to this since this is for a boy. Um, you know what I'm saying? You add too much and it kind of girlies it up and I didn't want to do that. I wanted to keep it as manly as possible. So anyways, this is it, everybody. I could tell you one thing. I think I am going to... As soon as I get to know that machine a little bit better because there's different settings and the cool part about it is like there's a setting for like that you could do on little clear acetate bags, um, thicker cardstock, um, chipboard, and I am so looking forward to learning that. So hopefully I get some extra hours in my life <laughs> where I can sit down and play with it because I think this is going to be something that I'm going to love Okay, everybody, this is it. This is my little treat box, and not necessarily the treat box because I put a little gift in here for my little graduate tomorrow morning. Um, so go ahead and visit my blog at www.creativetimeforme.com to see what the rest of my awesome design team has made for you today. So have a fabulous day, everybody, and I will see you all back here tomorrow. Bye-bye.